flipping in there. Hey, dang. Man, what a monster. On set. Quite, yeah, quite on set. Hey guys, welcome to One Body Fishing. We're down here finally at the coast again. It's been a while since we've been down and we apologize we haven't had any fishing videos. It is March and so we're at, hopefully going to be able to get out and do some fishing. But before we do, we've got some rod holders we want to install. And I am going with this V-Lock system. Uh, I've searched the web and I like the idea because you do not have to have it permanently mounted. You can remove and replace whatever you install. So what we're gonna do is we have ordered a set of rod holders for the rear of our transom, uh, which, is, which has seven rod holders, and we've got three at 15 degree and the rest are at zero degree. We really need that space for the rods because that's what we're doing when we fish. Uh, it's not a pleasure boat. It's a fishing boat, so we need those extra rod holders. So we're going to mount that. And we're going to show you guys how to do it and apply it. If you want to get a hold of this guy, this this gentleman's name's uh, Marcus, and he's with uh, Custom Aluminum Products out of South Carolina. The gentleman is a super guy, really good communicator. Uh, if you get a hold of him, uh, he knows how to do business, and he makes he does good work. Um, for this application, we've got the rod holders for the transom, but he does a lot of other products for a lot of other different designs for your truck box, um, for your T-tops. He, he's very creative. But here's what we got. So you can see we got the seven rod holder mount system and the white powder coat. And I think he does black and I know he does the polished aluminum as well. But you can see the V-Lock system, how it's made, how he's welded this system up, and this just slides into the track, and then it'll, it'll lock. But first, we have to attach this system to our boat, and then we can attach or detach this. And the reason I went with that system is because I might want it out of the way. Say we did take it for a pleasure ride, and there was kids was on board, and nobody's going to be fishing. I could get this out of the way, store it, or in the future, we're thinking about maybe doing some diving. And they make another system where you can actually put your dive tanks down. So it allows me to be versatile instead of have something permanently mounted to my boat. I could take this down and then I can put another system up that holds my, my tanks for dive tanks. So that's just the way we're thinking for the future. Uh, that way we're able to grow. But you guys stay tuned. We're going to get this thing mounted and rigged it's up. nowhere. <laughs> 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 the rents do. <laughs> oh yeah, work, work it. <laughs> hey, hey, keep it a little funny. That one time, and I felt it and I decided that was. I was messing around earlier about fell off the back of this thing. Yeah, he. It was not good. I caught myself with the last second. Quite on the set. <laughs> so you got to determine where you want this before we video. All right. Come on, old man. <laughs> you said reverse, right? Yeah, I'm mean, out with. Cause it'll bite in the fireway. Well, I'm trying to get me a pilot story.
various batteries, the, the big one hanging on the far left. Watching these guys work together as a team reminds me of the scripture in Ecclesiastes that says, Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. As you can see, there are multiple guys helping install the rod holder. This could be done by oneself, but would be much more difficult, and I don't know about you, I like when we succeed. Nice. Looks good, guys. Get a thumbs up.